and we're live. Right. You getting into it? Yeah, 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 sit down. Make sure here. Keep it rolling, though. Keep it rolling. All right, let me sit down, man. <sighs> All right, y'all, YouTube. What's up, man? I'm out here from Bali, chilling in Germany. I ain't going to lie. I ain't feeling Germany too much. I like the people, but not, not the city too much, but... Got my dog, best friend Mario Artillery. Got Mr. Adrian right here. Hey. And I'm going to just ask him some questions to see where they'll mind that they get their perspective on a few things. Oh, yeah, we're in Empire. Empire Studios. Oh, Empire Barbershop. Yeah. I love this spot. It's a cool spot. All right, so the first question is who? In life, man, what you think the most important thing is out of all these? Is it love? Respect, money, time, or health? Um, I feel like first, like, I'll put my family first, of course, you know, the money set that's aside, you know, like families, family and friends are forever, you know, they'll stand by your side, you know, whenever you need them and stuff like that. Oh, no. But, uh, you know, money, you know, it's something that, you know, it's a, it's an object, you know, so I feel like if you put your mind to like the right stuff, and like you put your focuses and your goals to like to achieving them and stuff like that, like you'll be set, bro. Like I feel like that's where that's where I'm at right now. He gonna say something different. What you think? Bro? <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna say time, bro. Cause like my health can be messed up, but time is priceless. It's people that are in wheelchairs. It's people that are sick, but I I'd rather get to a wheelchair and a hundred. Than to die off with all my family, money, everything at twenty. I feel you can do if you if you're still alive at least and you're still here, you can at least utilize your mind power to be around your family, to make money from that chair. We in the internet world. You can get all those things as long as you have more time on earth. So if anything is more important, I would want the time. The time to be able to do more of the things with those things. So yeah. money, time, respect. So, I know you don't want to be on camera, camera man, but what you think? <coughs> Let us hear your voice. What you think? Personally, me, you know, I have a child, so you know that changed my perspective like in a crazy, crazy, huge way. So I would say, you know, family, personal time, you know, um, you know, just just appreciating the little things in life, you know, the things that we overlook every day. Those are things I take more. More pride in. Right. Back to you, man. What you think your purpose is? My purpose? That's a that's a good question. I feel like um, I don't know. I'm still trying to figure that out. Like, I'm uh, I'm young, you know. I'm still like figuring out things. You know, I got soccer. My first thing that I love to do. It's my my passion. I got barbering. Something I picked up very recently. Um, I got clothing. I got YouTube. I got uh, all these things that are coming like into my life right now and I feel like I'm still trying to figure out what's best for me. And I feel like I still got a lot of time to decide so I feel like my purpose is to come later in the future for me. You got time. Yeah. You're coming from somewhere that they lived a crazy wild life. I ain't trying to be like spiritual or nothing, but even in the Bible it said, without purpose, destruction is inevitable. So if you don't find your purpose, bruh, you're gonna be out here in the world, man, just yeah. doing a whole bunch of I don't mean to chime in, but I think purpose is something that you, uh, that's an ongoing uh, journey. Yeah, so your yeah. purpose, I don't think you ever will reach your purpose. You don't think so? No, nah, I think, I think it's a long, a I life is, purpose, right? <laughs> I, I think, you know, that's ego telling you that you found your purpose. Whatever your brain has uh, put at the top of the list as that goal, Yeah. that's, but your purpose and the whole life agenda is like something that we continuously just continuously like develop closer towards, but I don't think it's an actual like destination. Yeah, I ain't even gonna lie, that was fire, man. That was that was fire. That was fire. I appreciate that, man. But I, I really <laughs> I be thinking about the smaller yeah, things, bro. Buddy, by the way. What you think your purpose is? My purpose is to add on, bro. Add on, what? add on in general. Add on, add on to my spirit. Add on to my family. Add on to my lineage, making kids. Add on to my money, add on to my knowledge, add on to just making businesses. Just, I, my purpose is to add on. I feel while you're here on earth, you're supposed to start at the stopping point 
your parents left off on or the society or community you're in, and you're supposed to add on to the time you leave the earth to give the next person that you brought a head start past the point your parents left you at and then they add on. And I feel it's supposed to be a cycle of every next generation adding on, leading up to each generation being higher than the last one. That's what okay. I feel my purpose is. Okay, yeah. I got an actual building partner question, man. Yeah. That's what I was gonna when, when it's all said and done, would you rather be hated or forgotten, bro? Mm. Uh, I think we all gonna be forgotten. You think so, Fred? Yeah, we all gonna be forgotten at a certain point because everybody we know will disappear just like we will. So who's there to remember us? That's like the other people in the Bible. I feel like if you don't, that's one of my biggest fears in life. Hold on, hold on, I'm gonna get back to me. But you rather be hated or forgotten. <laughs> um. I don't know, I feel like both are, they have their, their, their differences. I feel like if I'm, if, I, if I'm hated, I feel like that wouldn't leave like a good image on me. And I feel like if I'm forgotten, like who really cares, like I'm forgotten, you know? But I, I, don't, I feel like I can't, I can't decide on that one. I ain't gonna ask him, he'd rather be hated, I already know. <laughs> I already know how I breath thing. That's like some Kanye West. I'm like gonna some... be honest, that's crazy. You, you really my best friend. <laughs> But <laughs> if the people who are hated are never forgotten, right. I, they're never forgotten. When you think of the, just just in the country of Germany alone, when you think of Adolf Hitler, he will never be forgotten because too many people hate him. Too many people will make sure they tell people he was a bad person, who he was. They'll never forget him. Martin Luther King was hated by a group. Malcolm X hated by a group. Just the president, any person that had a hate. Now, the thing, the 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 sub question is, what are you hated for? Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Because hate can come from different angles. It doesn't mean you were a bad person or you did something wrong. But I feel if you're not hated by a certain amount of people, then I I don't think you did everything you were supposed to do. People because hated Jesus, you know what I mean? Exactly. People hated Jesus, you get what I'm saying? And he's never forgotten for that. A man's been, you know, he's been gone. It's 2022. That means he was born 2022 years ago. You know, the AD is based on after Christ. So, and he's still present, you know what I mean? He'll never be forgotten. The Pharaohs, all these people that they talk about. I feel if you're not hated by somebody, then you lived your life trying to please everyone. You get what I'm saying? There, I think it's impossible for somebody to not hate you if you do live out your purpose, bro. It has to be a, a someone there to be like, he didn't do what we wanted him to do, though. And a group of people are going to say he did exactly what we needed him to do. But you have to be hated, bro. If you're forgotten, bro, that means you just you didn't leave your you mark. Failed. You failed in life. Yeah, you didn't leave your mark on <laughs> But like this, what about this? Like you say hated or forgotten. What about uh, what about somebody hating you, but they remember you, but they don't remember you for who you really are? Huh? Mm. So uh, basically, they can hate you for that. They can hate the idea of you, but because they didn't know you, their perception could be inaccurate. Man, all I know is that's one of my biggest fears is being forgotten. <laughs> That's why I'm living like this. Like, because, like, just imagine somebody hated yeah. some somebody hated you for one particular situation. They never for, forgot you because they still have that hate in their heart for you. But they actually not remembering you for the person you are. They remember you for the hate that they feel inside themselves. I don't even care. So to I be remember. remembered, or is it really that much? But this this is a question I want to throw out there. Do y'all feel you've done enough at this point? Let's say every person in this conversation died tomorrow morning. And at the same time in the car or separate, but everybody just died tomorrow morning. Do you feel you've done enough in your life right yes. now to not be forgotten? Yes. I've... Yes, a lot. No, I feel like I, I got a lot more to do. I feel like I overdid it. I, I, think, I, think, I think my life has been documented by so many cameras, so many videos. My music has touched so many hearts. I've seen people cry listening to my songs to the point where I feel I've done enough to not be forgotten. 
by 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 us by certain people. I feel my my lineage is going to at least say great great granddaddy such and such is the one that put this money into our family. The reason we've been good since he left. I feel I've done enough for that to at least not be forgotten by everybody. And my last speech, I said, when you die and you still feel like you're alive, that's when you made it in life. Because mm. it's people like Kobe, Nipsey Hussle, Shaq, like you said, Hitler. They died, but we still talking about it. And we all know somebody that died recently, probably, and don't nobody talk about them. It's like they was never here. It's like, how we forget about you in a year? Like, don't talk about you. Like, Biggie, Pop. Shout out to the queen. Shout out to the queen. We had a Sorry, I didn't want to hear that. <laughs> nah, you know people know you. You could have walked in. They could have been like, who shouted? I was, I was trying not to. I was trying to stay out there. All right, y'all. We'll come back. We're about to eat, man. I'll holler at y'all. <laughs> Peace, love. Nah, you good. Peace. Go ahead, give me that white hoodie, bro. You don't need it.